What is the difference between a factory reset and a hard reset? Hello everyone. Today we're diving into an important topic that often confuses a lot of tech users. We'll be discussing the key differences between a factory reset and a hard reset. This knowledge is vital in understanding how to troubleshoot your device and protect your data. What is a factory reset? A factory reset, also known as a master reset, involves returning your device to its original system state by erasing all of the information stored on the device in an attempt to restore the device's software to its original manufacturer settings. A factory reset typically wipes the device of any data, including personal data, applications, settings note. A factory reset is usually performed through the device's software options, often found in the settings menu. What is a hard reset? On the other hand, a hard reset, also known as a forced reset or power reset, does not necessarily wipe all data from the device. It is often used as a troubleshooting step and is akin to pulling the power cord out of a desktop computer, then plugging it back in. A hard reset is usually performed by using hardware keys, does not remove personal data, is primarily used to solve temporary malfunctions or software errors. When should you use a factory reset or a hard reset? Factory reset A factory reset should be your go-to option if you're planning on selling or disposing of your device and want to ensure all personal data is removed. Your device has serious, persistent software issues that simple troubleshooting steps have failed to fix. Hard reset A hard reset, on the other hand, should be used when your device freezes or is unresponsive. If you encounter minor software problems that a simple reboot doesn't solve. And there we have it. You should now have a clear understanding of the differences between a factory reset and a hard reset. Both are useful tools in maintaining your devices, but remember, a factory reset should be your last resort, and always back up your data before performing one. Thanks for watching, and we hope you found this video informative. Stay tuned for more tech tips and tricks.